When an automobile manufacturer as big as Toyota announces plans for an electric vehicle, it's indeed big news. And after a year of holding back on EVs, while it focused on hybrids, Toyota is finally taking its major step in going all-in for EVs with the first-ever BZ4X crossover SUV EV. However, the Toyota BZ4X is no match for the Tesla Model Y, or is it? Keep on watching this video to find out. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. We compile the latest news about the newest automobiles. Our videos are guaranteed to keep you coming back for more. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe to the channel so you are always up to date with our latest videos as soon as they're uploaded. In this video, we will compare the Toyota BZ4X and the Tesla Model Y. So clearly, you don't want to miss out on this. So without further ado, let's start with today's video. Toyota is composed to re-enter the electric vehicle segment with their 2022 BZ4X crossover, which shows off an edgy aesthetic that sets it apart from Toyota's gasoline-powered SUVs. Unlike the last all-electric vehicle the company offered, the RAV4 EV, the BZ4X will be sold at Toyota's dealerships. The production version of the BZ4X is expected to be released in mid-2022. On the other hand, even before the Model 3 made its official debut, Tesla and CEO Elon Musk were already teasing some versions of the Model Y and its Falcon wing doors. After several years of testing, Tesla finally announced the Model Y in 2019. Production of the Model Y began the following December at Tesla's Fremont factory, and by the first quarter of 2020, Tesla began to deliver the first Model Ys to customers. The Model Y shares some mechanical similarities to Model 3, which is Tesla's small sedan. It's smaller than the Model X SUV and has conventional rear doors instead of its gullwing-style doors. Most Model Ys are available with two doors of seating that can accommodate five passengers total, while some 2021 and newer models offer a third row of seating and can seat as many as seven passengers. But the main question is, which car model is better? Well, let's find out. As car fanatics know, one of the most critical factors to consider an electric car is its driving range. With a more extended range, car owners can have the peace of mind by knowing that they will have enough battery power to make it back home or to a charging station. As for the driving range, the Tesla Model Y is superior to the BZ4X. The Model Y long-range model has a range of 326 miles while the performance model has a range of 303 miles. When compared, the Toyota BZ4X has a driving range of 230 miles for the front-wheel drive model and 200 miles for the all-wheel drive model. Before buying a new car, customers always look at the performance specs of the car, right? So let's take a look at that. While it's hard to find specs on such cars, experts predict that Toyota has something up its sleeve with lithium-ion. As Toyota has not made massive public announcements about battery tech, it seems like they have been doing loads of research and development. On the other hand, the Model Y will have 4680 battery cells. The 4680 lithium battery is indeed one of the best batteries in an EV vehicle. On the performance front, the Model Y dominates the BZ4X. With its two electric motors, the Model Y delivers a total system output of 384 horsepower. In comparison, the single-motor BZ4X generates 201 horsepower, while the dual-motor version produces 215 horsepower. If the BZ4X and Model Y raced, the Model Y would speed ahead of the BZ4X. Toyota listed the acceleration of the BZ4X in a 0 to 62 mile hour measurement with a time of 8.4 seconds for the single motor model and 7.7 .7 seconds for the dual motor model. Toyota is still yet to release its efficiency ratings, but it would be surprising if it matches the fuel efficiency of the Model Y. The Model Y has an estimated efficiency rating of 131 city, 117 highway miles per gallon. And the BZ4X has a gas mileage of 115 city, 106 highway miles per gallon. As these two EVs are manufactured in the modern era, it's obvious that potential buyers will be looking for exciting new features. There is no doubt that Tesla has the most enticing features and technology. Most of us know about how a Tesla comes loaded with all the cool tech. If Toyota is going to compete on that same level, the BZ4X has to go big or go home. The Tesla screen and software that give the car the fine trim feel are revolutionary. The Tesla Model Y is a technologically sophisticated crossover of an SUV. 
with its large touchscreen system at the dashboard center. You can view and operate the climate control system, driving information, and utilize a wide range of entertainment features. This includes the high-quality audio system, YouTube, Netflix, Hulu, and even video games. Moreover, the Model Y has many state-of-the-art driving assistance technologies like Lane Departure Warning, the Autopilot Semi-Autonomous Driving System, Lane Keeping Assist, and Automatic Emergency Braking. Additionally, the Model Y offers self-parking and a summon feature. In comparison, the BC4X doesn't offer anything that reaches this level of autonomous driving. On the other hand, the BZ4X shows signs of a large center console, an eloquent driver display, and loads of buttons, but it doesn't look as clean as it looks on a Tesla. Still, most buyers who have never driven one are more familiar with controls than learning a new software system. Tesla has undoubtedly set the standard for other car makers to follow, and Toyota has undoubtedly taken the hint. Tesla has set a high standard of clean styling that has attracted customers since day one. Toyota typically gets criticized for bland styling. They have in recent years given a far more significant effort in showing that they can build a stylish and reliable vehicle. The BZ4X is certainly bold and different. From what we know so far, we can tell that the BZ4X will offer a more futuristic dashboard design than prior Toyota models, with a digital gauge display and a large infotainment touchscreen. The cabin looks spacious and similar in size to the RAV4, but we won't know how accommodating it is until we get a chance to take a test drive. We also know that the BC4X will SG tradition by offering a yoke-type steering wheel rather than a round one, similar to the new primary steering controller found in Tesla's as well. Whereas Tesla's interior design is very similar across all its vehicles, the interior layout is minimalist. Depending on the model, it can even feel elegant. The minimalist design, however, comes at the expense of usability. Almost all of Tesla's buttons and controls are located in the touchscreen and several require digging down in the menus to find. The touchscreen is not very easy to learn or easy to use. Fit and finish issues aside, the Model Y's interior is spacious and easy to get in and out. The doors open wide and sliding into the driver's seat is easy. The sloping rear roof means you'll need to duck a bit to get into the back seat, but there's lots of rear legroom and plenty of footroom under the front seat. The driver has a good forward visibility, but rear visibility is limited due to the small rear window. Now finally, it all comes down to the price of these new EVs. The base model pricing for both the Model Y and BZ4X is sitting right around $40,000. We know that the Tesla Long Range Dual Motor Performance model is higher at about $53,000. So far, the price is the only area in which the 2022 Toyota BZ4X has the advantage. At the same time, Toyota has not yet released the pricing information for the 2022 BZ4X. When compared, the starting price of the 2022 Tesla Model Y is $56,990. However, considering all of the 2022 Tesla Model Y's advantages over the 2022 Toyota's BZ4X, the extra cost is worth it only if you can afford it. As you can tell by now, the Model Y crushes the BZ4X in multiple ways, including range, performance, acceleration, and technologies. So, the clear winner here is who can provide the most incentives and rebates at the time of sale. Well guys, that's all we have for you today. What are your thoughts on these two EVs? Are you Team Tesla or Team Toyota? Get involved and let us know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed today's episode and found it interesting, then make sure to leave us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to be kept up to date with the most exciting automotive content as soon as it's uploaded. Thanks for watching. See you again soon in another video.